Welcome to Mon Zion's Kids for Christ. Welcome to another Kids for Christ. Do you know the song if you're happy and you know it? You do? Can you sing it with me? Okay, let's go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now we're going to stomp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Ready? We're going to shout. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Ready? All three. Okay now, all three. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Hooray! Excellent! I love that song. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. But what happens to our happiness if something bad happens? What happens when we feel sad or something goes wrong? We'll find out today, just as soon as Levi gives us our scripture.
Levi, let's read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice always. Rejoice always. Thank you, Levi, for our scripture. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 says, Rejoice always. Have you heard that word before? Rejoice? It's just another way of saying to be joyful. To have and to show joy or to be full of joy. Joy that is in our hearts is not like happiness. Happiness is something that people can always see. But we can't always see joy. We can have joy when we're sad. We can still have joy when things are going bad. So joy is something that's on the inside of us. It's something that can't be taken away from us and only one person can give to us. Do you know who it is? Exactly. It's God. We can have joy and rejoice always because of the Holy Spirit that is in us as God's children. Let's see this quick experiment that helps us to understand that better. So I have two balloons here with me today. One is happiness and one is joy. Now look at both of these balloons. They look the same to me. How about you? They both have smiles on them. They're both white. I can't tell the difference. On the outside, they are practically identical. But if we look a little closer, there's something inside of one of the balloons. Do you know what it is? This balloon represents happiness. We usually feel happy when good things are happening to us and when things are going our way. We might get really happy if we hear that our mom, our dad, or our grandparent is making us our favorite dessert. Or we might feel happy that our friend is coming over for a play date. Sometimes I get really happy when I get a good grade on a test. Those are all examples of things that make us happy. But what happens when things don't go our way? For example, what if we find out that we're having it? For example, what if we find out that we're having our least favorite thing for dinner? Or what if our friend can't come over to play anymore? Or even worse, our friend can come, but they want to play for our brother or sister instead. Those things don't sound like they'll make me happy. How about you? Well, this lighter is going to represent things that make us sad. Let's see what happens when they come against our happiness. What happened to the balloon? It popped, just like our happiness may disappear. But this balloon... This is a little different. This is joy, and joy doesn't go away. It's not like happiness. When things that may make us sad, like our friend not coming over, or not having our favorite thing for dinner comes against our joy, it doesn't pop. That's because we have something on the inside that is keeping us joyous. And as we talked about earlier, that's the Holy Spirit. So when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we can rejoice always. Just like this balloon is filled with water, when we are God's children and are filled with the Holy Spirit, when bad things come our way, When bad things come our way, we won't lose our happiness. We can rejoice always. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. Rejoice always. Have a great week. See you next time. Rejoice. Rejoice.